didn't tell that person I was ghosted like in a meeting huh? in, like planning something like a date or something and that person not appearing um, I fought with a boy <laughs> but that was Assalamu alaikum beautiful people I hope you all are doing well and everyone of you is doing good Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, please do consider subscribing. And if you are coming back, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. So today the video that I'm doing is something that I have done some time back in 2020 with my sister. Now today I'm doing it with this girl. Now you guys know her. <laughs> She's Khadija. So the video, what we are doing is never have I ever. She has the questions in her mind. So she's going to ask her. So let's get into the video. Before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Let's get into the video. Okay, you start. Stuck in my brain. Hi guys. I hope you all are doing good. Um, so I'm supposed to ask you the first question. Okay. Never have I ever. No, how are you? For its signatures. My parents' signatures. I have. <laughs> yeah, I have. Huh? And it was, I was supposed to, you know when in school you're supposed to have reports, you take it to your parents. <laughs> you're supposed to take it to your parents and then they should sign for you and I haven't taken the reports to my parents. So I just decided, the fact that my dad starts with Ali, eh, I just... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. I, I think I've done the same. But then, uh, school, you avoid a punishment, you forge your parents' signatures. I've done that quite a lot. Okay. 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 Uh, next question. Never have I ever ghosted someone. <laughs> I have. <laughs> okay. Okay, we've been talking with this guy. So it's a guy. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And then I didn't see where we're heading, so I just decided to just ghost him. That's wrong, yeah. bro. I just decided to start communicating. So whenever he texts, I won't reply. Just ignore. Yeah, just ignoring. And then he later on realized or something. And moved on. No, I blocked him on everywhere. Yeah. I just decided to just be like, bye, boy. <laughs> Yeah. I've, I've never ghosted anyone, but somebody has ghosted me, but I've never ghosted anybody. Why? I just don't believe in the ghosting. I'd rather tell you on the face that, yo, I don't want to talk with you. But then there's those people, me. you tell them this is not going anywhere, just mm. leave, and then they're still not willing to leave. What do you do with them? That's now, you know, you already told them. But ghosting is when you didn't tell that person. I was ghosted like in a meeting. Huh? In, like planning something like a date or something and that person not appearing so i've been ghosted. oh my god that is so painful <laughs> it is painful what, what are you talking about it is painful but yeah i've been ghosted like that before have you <laughs> have you? i yeah no i'm awesome what can i say <laughs> <laughs> so you have never been ghosted and you have never ghosted anyone no yeah, I have ghosted some, I think so. Of course, the cool ones only ghost people. <laughs> <laughs> just, just so that you know, like Hadiza. there's a, like our other... friend who's sitting behind the camera. Yeah. So... Yeah, I can't switch. So okay. Yeah, so he's sitting behind the camera. Let me, let me and do Yeah, that is him. Hi. Yeah, so he's basically answering some of the questions that we are asking each other here. And also making sure that he sees everything clearly on the other side. So, let me think of this. Never have I ever said sorry but not meaning. I have, just to get away with things. Uh, you say sorry just so that the argument ends, so that this person just minds their own life. Uh, mm -hmm. nah. Whenever I say sorry, I mean, mean it. Like, I really mean it. So I've never said sorry just to an argument like I'll ignore you or I won't say something when like I'm upset but I wouldn't say sorry if I don't mean it I won't okay. that's it and uh, have you ever said I love you without meaning it 
<laughs> Good one. Yeah. Because for me, yes, I have. No, oh, without meaning it, to who now? No, you just think of a situation. Have I ever said I love you without meaning it? Yeah, I did. I said I love you without meaning it, but I have no explanation. Class, <laughs> I have zero explanations to me. You don't want to explain? No, I just don't know. I, I did, but I don't know why I did. I just said it, maybe because that other person has, has said it back and I don't want them to feel bad. So I just tell them I love you too. I don't want to explain mine. <laughs> I might offend some people. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might disclose people. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. So yeah. And you? I have a question. Never have I ever sneaked from the house. Never. No, I've never. Mm -hmm. My parents are, are really cool. So if I ever want to go out, I just ask for permission. So I didn't have a situation where I have to sneak from home to just do something. And you? Similar. I mm. wouldn't sneak out. Yeah. So I don't have... I've never reason. had that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My parents are always understanding somehow. And I'm... Um, just the trust that I'm going to be fine with something. Mm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. um, never have I ever... Uh, fought... Fought uh -huh. with someone. Physically. I have... <laughs> tell us, tell us the story. So, you know, before you go to school, as a Somali, before you go to school, you go to madrasa to learn the religion and whatnot. Uh huh. Then there was this girl being bullied. So I was like, no. The first day I came, I was new. The girl is being bullied. Is being bullied. I'm like, why is this girl bullying the other girl? So I decided just to to, <laughs> to bust in and fight. <laughs> I bumped with her. I literally bit her. Like, I don't know how. Yani, I had so much anger for her that I even bit her ear until it started bleeding. Oh, oh no. That's aggressive now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and that was the first TMI, and the last guys, time. TMI, guys. The first and the last time I ever fought with anyone. But then the next, the other thing was she had her sibling, the bully. She had her sibling and I had my sister. I okay. told my sister, go beat the sibling. <laughs> oh, no. So me and my sister, me and beating the bully and my sister is beating the bully's sister. <laughs> it was a whole family thing. Oh uh, Yeah, and then we called my mom, blah, blah, all those stuff. But that was the first and the last time I ever fought with anyone. Mm -hmm. And you? I did. Doing what? Um, I fought with a boy. <laughs> wow. But that was um, that was the last fight I remember. Why Physically you... fighting with a boy. Why? He just spread rumors, to be honest, and I didn't like people who talk about other people behind their backs. So I couldn't take that. And I waited for him outside the school so that I could fight <laughs> with him. <laughs> that was how serious this thing was. I think... Now thinking about it, uh, I feel like I was, I was a bit a bit childish. But then but it then happened like four or five years ago. Yeah, so five years ago from he, where I am right now, um, he just he just snitched about me, and then uh, I waited for him outside school, and then we fought, and then that was the end of it. Like after that, kalas, I didn't talk to him or I didn't, you know, fight with anybody ever again up to now. So it happens. Never have I ever cheated on someone. Mama didn't raise no cheater. I did not. Never. I broke up with somebody, but I did not cheat on someone. Even me, I have not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, there was a time I was at the VAD. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean the VAD? I was at the verge of cheating because how do I explain this? Like I was ending something with someone, and then I was getting into someone else already. Yeah, you pop like yeah. from one place to the other. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So for for a minute, I think I was cheating in between. <laughs> <laughs> in between the transition from this to this. Uh, 
Okay. Never have I ever. Cheated in exams. Exams, obviously, I have cheated. I'll, everybody <laughs> has cheated in exams. Yeah. Never, I never have you ever done something, but um, blamed it on your siblings. I have. <laughs> you do something, but yeah. you say it's not you. Yeah. And it's your siblings. Oh my God. You, if you're her sibling and you watching this, <laughs> come for her life. <laughs> you have not. Nah. We never. I never had. Um, I don't know. Like I, ne I never had anything that I could blame my siblings for. If that makes sense. Like we are different in so many ways. The smallest thing. The smallest thing, such like as uh. someone poured the water here, and you'd be like, "Mom, and ah, nah." Me, I do that. It's like ni me magama jela fu hapsa ko iwa picha ha po bilak mam ni hapsa and it's me. So that I'm not told go get the duster and then start mopping. So just to avoid. Okay. Yeah. Never have I ever um insulted a teacher. No, I was one of the quietest, just this <laughs> kids, students ever. Not troublesome. My mom was never called to school for for any trouble I've done. I have never done like I can't even think. The least I was given is mop the school as a trouble. But I was never told that to go bring your mom, see your father. Okay. And you? similar to me, like I don't insult people. So and then teachers, nah. I didn't I've never gotten there. But never have I ever had a crush on my teacher. No, I have never. But a, a teacher had a crush on me. I had a t uh, crush on a teacher. Ooh la la. He was, <laughs> he was cute, bro. He was so cute. But then I used to tell myself every day that, Khadija, focus on your studies, okay? <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> but yeah, I had a crush on a teacher before. No. No? Never? They were all ugly in your school? No. Uh -huh. But then, you know, once a teacher, always a teacher. No, he never taught my class. No matter the situation. I don't care. Uh -uh. As long as you are part of the staff in the school, I have zero feelings for you. But then I had a teacher who was constantly like crashing on me. Mm. And I used to be like, he has to understand the school rules. No crashing on students. <laughs> but then he never used to get the memo. <laughs> but the thing is, my, cr my crush was like low-key. Like, I have a crush on you, but I wouldn't tell you that I have a crush on you. Have you ever, have you ever had a crush on a celebrity? No. I, I still have until now. Oh, I think I have a crush on a celebrity, but it's a female. It's not a male. Yeah, it's still a crush, right? Nora. Yeah. You Nora Fatehi. <laughs> you know I mine. love her. Huh? You know mine. Oh, uh, no. Not too much. Oh, you've told me yeah. several times. Oh, really you know now. him, You know him too. Yeah. The guy I never knew. He he, he has a child. Has a Otherwise, she will have gone for him. <laughs> yeah. For the longest, I thought he's single or maybe something. I'm like, please, one day, <laughs> even for a minute. <laughs> but then I still love him. Never even he's a celebrity when we live and think of me. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And. Never have I ever mm -hmm. lied to my parents about where I'm going or anything. Lied to my family. What's that about? Like, okay. I, okay, I did not lie, but I lied. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> like, I'd say I'm going out with friends, and it's truly friends. But like, I won't get into deep, like telling them, okay, how many friends, who are they, not that deep. That is not mine. It's just keeping some information to yourself. Yeah. I just got some information to myself. Mm -hmm. For me, I used to lie to my mom that I'm going to see a friend of mine. Then I used to go to the beach, go hang out with my friend. And my mom would be like, don't go to the beach alone. Hmm. Yeah. I was young when I was in primary or something oh. and something else I used to go to Congoya and my mom never used to like it she'd be like don't go to Congoya alone 
So I used to always lie that I'm not going to Kongoya, I'm just going to see my friends. And then at the end of the day, I'll go to Kongoya and buy stuff. And then where do you take the stuff? I hide them. And then I'll give it to everyone. Chika in yako, And then after some days, but then my mom will ask, where did this clothes come from? Oh, uh, she, she noticed? Yeah. yeah. She was not, yeah. Yeah, and she's like, why didn't you tell me? You know, Kongoya, there's stuff. I'm like, chill, mom, nothing happened. Oh. Okay. Never have I uh, took a screenshot of somebody's sex and sent them back the same screenshot by mistake. <laughs> no, I haven't, but I had a friend of mine. So, I don't know. She took a screenshot of someone she was talking to and sent it to me. Mm -hmm. And then, by mistake, she sent it to him. Oh no. And then he's like, why are you taking screenshots of my conversation with you? I don't know. It started a fight and then they broke up. <laughs> yeah. Just because of a screenshot? No, they already had their own issues. Uh -huh. But then... I'm serious. Added. Yeah. It added on there. I've never. I always... I'm very careful, bro. That type of thing is going to be a heart attack. I can't like even die. Sending text to someone, let's say me and you were talking, mm -hmm. and then then you wanted to send a text to Martin, Martin yeah, and then you send it to me. How? Like you're supposed to send that message to Martin, mm -hmm. but then you send it to me. Because we were talking. You know, sometimes WhatsApp, oh. the, the way it is, I don't know. Uh, nah, 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 I can't risk it. Never have I ever broken with somebody through a text. I have. Really? Yeah. I I don't even remember when was the last time I had a face to face breakup. So it's always it's over. better. It's better. It's over the phone. <laughs> nah, I'd rather like tell you in person. In person or over the, over the phone. I can't break up on you over a text. That seems to. I also need to hear your side of the story. Before I break up with you. So, like, give me climax before I say it's done. We're not doing this no more. No, you know, for me, bre breaking up with someone, I have already decided, like, some time before, even some, the day. Yeah. So, I've already made my mind. I'm breaking up with you, I'm breaking up with you. You telling me does not mean I'll change my mind. It just means it, it will give me the closure that I need. I don't need closure. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, you don't care. Literally, I don't want closure. Do you know closure? It's just it doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever mm. snitched on someone. Remember me telling you I am a grave. When someone tells me something, it's really hard. I literally try my best to forget the thing there and then so that I don't have to remember it. Okay. Yeah. So I wear it. I don't even snitch or someone. Have you? Snitched? I, I don't mean like I take your story and give it. Nah. It's more like um, I see you some, doing something wrong. Before I used to be me, guys. <laughs> just a disclaimer. You want to justify yourself? Yeah, I want to justify myself. Uh, I'd go to the teacher and say that you're doing A, B, C, D. We are a snitch then. <laughs> I'm not saying I wasn't. She is, you she snitch. Is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying I wasn't. I'm just saying that there was a time that I used to do that. Not she now. was a snitch way back. Was was means past, sis. Not right but now. Then, but then you had that time you where have, you were. So, you, in you, so, so you, you want to say <laughs> once a snitch, always a snitch. <laughs> it's like once a snitch, always. Ah, uh, nah, nah, it doesn't apply here, man. It doesn't. Okay. It does, it does. I hope that was fun enough for you guys to watch till the end. If you loved, if you have any other thing that you want to give us in the comment section, please put it there. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And don't forget to subscribe to her channel. She's on her way to 200. So let's get her to 200, inshallah. So thank you. Much love, light, and blessings. Bye. Bye. Stuck in my brain.